Okay. Welcome everybody. I hope you can see me. Can you see me? Can you hear me? If you can't hear me, please type it in chat. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you don't me, if you don't know me, Kieran from Tabletop Warfare here, uh, doing a live stream. I am gonna crack some booster boxes. So, hey Kyle, how are you, mate? I'm just going to adjust my video settings on my screen so I can actually read what's going on because everything is so small. Fonts. It's not fonts. Bugger it. I'll just, uh, I'll just have to read. So, I have two boxes by Korea, and I've got some extra box toppers to open as well. Hopefully they're coming through clearly on the screen there. I might have to um, control the focus of that camera. Give me two secs. Let's get a bit more of a zoom in there. She's out of focus. All right. Let's flip this vertically so that you get the same view that I've got. No, no, don't flip it vertically. Let's, let's rotate it 90 degrees instead, shall we? Now you see what I see. Now you see what I see. All right, let's start off. I'm gonna have a two box, three box stoppers there. These are all from splitting boxes for pre-orders that we made up. Hey Todd, how are you mate? Let's get the fourth one out here. All right, so. Box one, I want you guys to chuck in the comments. Uh, don't forget to follow if you haven't followed already. Chuck in the comments, either here or on Discord or anywhere, um, what pack from box one is going to be our biggest bomb, and what pack is going to be the biggest piece of jank rare, and yeah be giving away some box toppers uh, based on how I feel from that. Alrighty, let's start off with these box toppers. I don't know if all the box toppers are the same. I'm hoping that they're all different. First one there, and that's horrible lighting coming through, but it's a big old foil, so. That's your Mothra Supersonic Queen. Maybe I'm gonna need to control the even more settings on this camera. Cause it looks like it is just out of control on its lighting and everything. Ew. Anyway, let's keep going. I'll try and quickly change some settings between packs. Oof. We are lucky in that we didn't get any bent by, uh, box topper um, packs yet. 
I've seen plenty of uh, store owners complaining about bent box topper. Uh, like, for example, they've been stuffed down the side and then folded over. If I take this empty packet and I'll show you, empty packet, they're getting boxes with the box toppers like this. It's so horrible. Hey, Bradical, how are you, mate? Thanks for following. I wish I had a raw scissors. Oh, Aguar, Anguarius. I couldn't zoom the camera in anymore. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Just waiting for my car to be serviced, so I thought I'd come back. I'd come down to the shop and crack some packs. Rodan. That's a Vadrock. I love Vadrock. I put Vadrock into my uh, gates, a, a blaze deck, a, a guild gate deck, to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, to make gate colossuses that also wrath the board because they flash back a gates ablaze or they flash back a a, um, a deafening clarion when they enter the battlefield. So. Um, Bradical, uh, chuck in the comments uh, what pack you think is going to be our biggest bomb and which pack is going to be our biggest jank. So, alright, box number one, pa pack number one. Do these have the tabs? They do, they do have the tabs like the last set. So, we're just going to go to our last, our last couple of um, hit, uh, cards out of the pack and we're just going to go through them. So we've got a Regal Eliasaur in the uncommon slot, a Grim Dancer in the uncommon slot. Man, I'm really not liking how this far away this camera is, but I don't think there's much I can do about it right now. Uh, Ominous Seas, I love this one. Um, as you uh, as you cycle cards, it gets four shadow counters. Oh wow, first pack. First pack, Narset, Alt Art, Comic Book Art. All of these uh, cards, by the way, will be in the folder um, for people to purchase on release. We also got a Foil Planes. All right, pack number two. Maybe what I need to do. Do I have a box? I don't have a box. Alright. Maybe if Jordan's watching the stream, he can bring a box up so I can sit these closer to the camera. So, ah, Archipelago. Archipelago as a nice old art uncommon. Lordracus. Survive. You know what? It's because I disabled the autofocus. Man, this camera really doesn't like it, does it? Oh, now we've gone too focused. There we go, Survive Crystal in the third slot. And then. Yorion, because you know everybody loves Yorion right now. It's uh, doing disgusting things in uh, arena. All right, getting onto it. Getting onto it. Uh, where's this opening? Goodness gracious! They, I swear that in the last couple of years they have just made opening packs a painful venture because the way that they keep changing from pull tabs to opening normally. Alright, so we got Auspicious Starix, one of uh, Aragon's favourite cards at the moment. Zenith Flare, yee. Nice in the cycling deck. A Zagoth Crystal. And then Shark Typhoon. Meme on a stick. Meme on a stick. I love this card. So good. Such a good card. 
Yeah, maybe it is just me and the packs are fine. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, mess up those Yorion bets, man. They, they, they're a pain in the butt. Alright. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Alright. Uh, Saval Thunder Bear. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Reptilian Reflection. And a Crystalline Giant. This one's an interesting one. The whole have 10 different types of uh, token, uh, counters to put on things. That'll be fine. It's not going to be any trouble trying to really, uh, figure out what one you're up to, is it? Alright. Uh, we're up to uh, pack four. Five, pack six, pack six. So, flame spit, Indartha crystal, swallow hole, rail. So, we're, we're just going through. That's that's four, uh, five out of six now have um, been pretty powerful things. Oh, that was the fifth pack, yeah. <laughs> All right, pack six. Start off with a primal empathy into a barrier breach. Bastion of Remembrance. This thing is a pain in the butt in the new uh, humans decks. And Everquill Phoenix. I think this one's still waiting for a home. Uh, it, it may just be that it's the uh, it's just a, um, a bit of draft fault of that one. I mean, phoenixes are always oh look, sweet punch card here for you to use with your uh, your, your token dudes. All right, pack seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven. Uh, alert Heat Bonder. Skull Prophet. Valiant Rescuer. Karuga. I like a Karuga. Is it? I think it's pack eight. Necropanther. Spite dra Spire Dragons. Sprite Dragon. Sprite Dragon. Reconnaissance Mission. It's extinction Event. Yeah. <gasps> Foil Gyruda. Doom of Depths. Let's go and break Legacy! On Moto. I'd love to be playing some background music, but uh, when I was doing that the other day, uh, somebody from uh, one of the music studios uh, got my got my videos. Uh, basically shut down for lack of a better word so that was that was a bit disappointing uh, I managed to get it back with like most of the audio like cut out of it uh, Zenith Flare is the first time that I've been affected by that sort of thing so I was a bit shocked when it happened Lead the Stampede Momentum Rumbler part of my burpees a Savai Triome good old cycling Try basic land type land that we're going to be able to fetch out in modern. Get to see whether I don't even know if that's having any effect yet. I haven't really followed any modern. Um, 
let me know if you've um, seen it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, I should really have a counter going. What if I just get out a, uh, a life counter? And every time I go to another one, I'll just. Uh, All right, Heartless Act, Sanctuary Smasher, Charge of the Forever Beast, wow, and a Mythos of Vadrock, there's fun, I think this, is, yeah, this is the You May Burner thing, uh, <laughs> and then if you spent extra on your turn, you could you can make it not attack or block, so, uh, pack 10, no, that was pack 10. This is pack 11. I'm really good at this, as you can tell. Haven't done a lot of live pack openings in my life. What happens if I rotate this back? Because I'm hoping. If I hold this like this, it looks better. I reckon it will. Uh, Next Panther. Oh, that's freaking me out. Flame Spell. Zagoth Mumba. Emergent Ultimatum. Search your library for three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library and you may cast the other cards. Because that's not nuts at all. Alright, so this must be pack 13 because I'm good at counting and not at all having issues with counting. Uh, that's a thing. That's a glowstone recluse. That's a boneyard lurker. That's an easy prey. And another mythos. Mythos of Nephroi. Destroy target non land permanent. If it's a creature or if you pay more mana because it's just weird. If there's one thing that they did in this set, they made a lot of weird cards. They were really pushing into... Hey Sam, thanks for the follow. Whoa. That's a pretty cool token too. Companion token. How about that one? We are. As each game begins, you can place one card with your companion here. Ah, oh, so that's a companion zone token. So that's neato. All right, this pack. Uh, Frill Scale Mentor. Momentum Rumbler. Mystic Subdual. Titan's Nest. Oh, oh, I like a Titan's Nest. I like, I like Pseudo Dredge. Ooh, and we got a foil Savai crystal as well. Savai. Savai crystal. I'm gonna put that there with those rails. Um, so I believe this is pack 15. I'll work this into piles of fine over here. I should know where I'm at. Alright, I'm down to 22, so it must be pack 14. Let me know in the chat what cards you're excited for for the 
standard, for draft, for whatever format you're happy with. Pauper, is there anything special that's going into Pauper? Anything special that you're going to put into Highlander? Oh, the old comic book art dirge bat. What a dirge. Now we're at 15. All right, full, full crater. Monstrous step. Flourishing fox. It's the good doggo. Yeah, those full arts are mad. Bonders Enclave. And a foil brush rag. What does this Bonders Enclave do? Uh, you draw a card out of this ability only if you control a creature with power four. Great, that's pretty sweet. Brannis Singer has made Song of the Damned a reliable turn three combo. Yeah, actually, I have. Uh, I've heard a little bit about that. Sonorous Bond Ki No, what's it called? Howl Bonder. What a name. Uh, Unbreakable Bond. Escape Protocol. Lava Brink Ventura. And Necro Panther. Gosh, these are pretty. And I think they're uh, I think they're at all. That, that's a foil necropanther, by the way. Yeah, they're at all. I just, I just noticed this one, the uh, Dream Tail Heron. They are some pretty sick looking alt arts, I gotta say. All right, so 20 packs left. So this will be this will be pack 17. Yarning Night Bonder. Oh, bl Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. I, I just like the concept of that card, honestly. It's a goth crystal. Oh, the uh, the amazing Wrath Ultimatum thing is nuts. A foil Tranquil Cove. Very tranquil. Pack 18. Ooh. Ooh. Let's start off with some uh, comic book art or spirit starics. That thing is sweet. Barrier Breach. Fighters 1. Song of Creation. Oi. Song of Creation creation this thing i have seen people draw their entire deck on turn six and just drop a thassa's um yeah that thing the merfolk dude he is madness the thassa's oracle that's the one thassa's oracle is bones Don't forget uh, that we are running uh, Friday Night Magic at home uh, using MTG Arena uh, via direct challenge as well. If you haven't taken part in that yet, you can find a link to our Discord on the Facebook page and the Facebook group. Um, if it's no longer working, please let me know and I'll post a fresh one. Um, there are codes for Arena, so if you do enjoy Dranath Magistrate, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. I like that one. Ooh, and we've got a foil alert heal bonder. Heed bonder? Heed bonder. Um, 
this is uh, pack number, uh, what have I got, 21 left, so this is pack number, no, we've got 16 left, so this is pack number 9, 26 left, 16 left, pack number 20, I'm good at this, I can math people, I can math. Um, yes, so I was talking about f and at home uh, this week. Uh, we're going to do a direct challenge at home, um, a direct challenge arena draft to celebrate the release in paper. Oh, another Narset. Noise. Um, to re the, the paper release. So um, if you've got arena installed on your computer, um, Jump, jump on the Discord. Um, I'll also be post. Uh, so we're using a new piece of software for um, running Magic tournaments. Um, they have now transitioned to a program called um, Event Link, and it uses the MTG Companion app on Android and Apple um, or iOS. Sorry. Um, iOS at the moment is maxed out because they're in beta uh, and they only have a certain number of beta keys that they can give away from it. Uh, Mythos of Brokos. Brokos one. This is the one that lets you search your library for a card if you pay the extra, put it in your discard pile, and then you can return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Um, so, MTG Companion, I'll be posting a link, a, a, a code for you to join the event. What's the Discord link? The Discord link is on the Facebook page. You've probably got to do a bit of digging. I will repost a link to it after the um, uh, an invite link. I'll post it again today after I finish this stream. Um, and basically, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get it out. We're going to do an at-home pre-release, basically, except that it's going to be a draft. Um, so you can jump into a draft anytime on Friday. Ooh, we're filling out the ultimatum cycle. Um, so you create your, you, you do your draft on Friday, um, screenshot your draft pool with your, um, your friends list open, regardless of whether you've got any friends or not, just so that we can see your account name to verify that it's your account that you've drafted on and you haven't just grabbed somebody else's off of Google or whatnot. Um, then you save your draft pool as a deck on Arena and by uh, and then you can you can build your deck from that pool and we'll be uh, uh, on the Discord we'll be able to another Garuda noise um, direct challenge your opponent who will also have their ID listed on the Discord. And it'll all be run through the event link app, which you can um, you can access your games and standings on your app, as far as I understand. And it's just a new way that they're gonna do it. They are, as of the end of this month, discontinuing the DCI numbers. So I won't have to give out any more DCI numbers. From now on, you'll just get um, you'll have to go on to, um, I think it's wizards.com um, and set up an account there to um, join events in the future. Um, the cool thing is that I'll be able to, I don't know, come to TGB in a sec. Uh, well, I'm, I'm currently not in an accessible room. I, it would be uh, it'd be great to see you, but I am upstairs and upstairs is currently off limit until um, we go to our next stage of restrictions, basically. Once they drop the restriction level again, people will start to be able to hopefully slither with good old blue-black flash deck. Um, yeah, once they drop the restrictions to the next stage, we should be able to um, have people in store again, hopefully, depending on what kind of, um, what they set up as the restrictions um, at the next level. So, because right? currently there's just, 
we're still considered an amusement facility. Oh, glowstone recluse, that's pretty. So my understanding is that as an amusement, like we're retail, we've transitioned to retail at the moment. Oh, C dash octopus, also the flash deck. Um, and because we've transitioned to retail, we can still be open, we can still serve people, but if we were to be running as an amusement, um, my understanding is that amusements are still in, uh, are still prohibited. And better to be safe than sorry. I would hate to um, have, I'd hate to run a tournament, have people come from far and wide to uh, play and um, to just, you know, spread horrible, horrible disease amongst the uh, the playing community. So, all right, Titanus Rex. Ooh, what the heck is that? Boneyard Lurker. Oy. These these full arts are mad. Lutri the Spell Chaser. We are. Uh, focus. Uh, we do sell a small amount of singles for Magic. Um, we haven't looked at any other games for singles because it's just, there's, there's not, <laughs> high focus, high. Um, we, we are uh, selling singles for Magic. We only have a folder. Um, there are some, some nice things in that folder. Um, they're, um, like there's a couple of, um, Masterpiece cards in there. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Um, Eerie Ultimatum. One more from the Ultimatum series to go. Um, uh, and then, yeah, just a lot of pre release kit promos that have. Uh, <clears throat> when we've had to make room on the wall or we've needed to replenish packs because we haven't been able to get supply, we've just cracked old pre release kits to. Um, get packs on the wall so that people can still get their fix um, but yeah so that's what ooh, that's pretty Huntmaster Lager Migration Pub Colga big boy ooh and a foil chittering harvester so yeah, I mean, you can come in, you can ask to look through the folder. Um, we, we're still doing sales out of that. You just gotta, just gotta hit up the old um, hand sanitizer before you go through it. That way we're not, you know, spreading germs through there either. Oh, there's a feather token. That'll be for that Everquill Phoenix. I'm gonna stick that there. Would you believe, would you believe that we just pulled out an Everquill Phoenix token and we get a sexy, amazing alt art Phoenix. It, this reminds me of the artwork for actual, like the Dark Phoenix comic books, honestly. If, you, if you're into the X-Men at all, um, the Dark Phoenix saga was, just a, a sick storyline to follow. Dire Tactics. Reconnaissance Mission. Titanops Rex. And as the Goth Triome. This is the. Zagoth, the new stupid name, in my opinion, for my uh, my favourite colour combinations. Yes, Hort Phoenix. That makes <laughs> it's it's hot on so many levels. <laughs> Cheater, I almost done. 
Need the Phoenix, yeah, the Phoenix is sick. What in the world is that thing? Quartzwood Crasher. All right, I have to read that one. Oh, and a, and a foil nightmare squirrel. Wah, wah, wah. Whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat and damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample where X is the amount of damage those creatures have dealt that Right. So it's the it's the Johnny card. Dan's here. Ah, yep. On your way soon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we're down to our last four packs better put them the right way up for you our last four packs i have one in my hand what's been your favorite card so far that has come out in our rares parcel beast i don't mind a parcel beast there is some crazy mutate stuff going on in draft and standard at the moment Parcel Beast is one of the culprits. Another Vadrock. Gosh, I love a Vadrock. I said earlier, and I'll reiterate here. I could, I, I have a budget deck, which is the Gates deck from uh, the Guilds of Ravnica block, where you just put all the Guild Gates in, put in a Gate Colossus, put in a couple of Gate Breaker Rams, some ways to ramp into it all. Yeah, the art's pretty mental. I mean, the set's been online, but I, honestly, a lot of these arts I have not seen online, so I don't know whether they're withholding them for some sort of special thing or not. But um, yeah, the, the art, the old art stuff, would you be quiet? Silence, phone, silence. All right, trumpeting now. Nah, uh, Ketria Crystal, Hornbash Mentor, Frondland Felia, Vigilance, creatures you control with Vigilance have one tap tap target creature. Ooh, that's a little bit interesting, I haven't seen that before, and a foil keepsake. And a target spell that targets a permanent you control will draw a card. Right oh. I'm just gonna take a, a quick break to here just to check what was beeping at me. Make sure that my car ha is not ready yet. Nope, we're fine. We have two packs left. Some of the comic book arts got released as prizes. Oh, that's a bit off for an event. Yeah, I guess I guess you can do that. That's uh, definitely, you know, a way to get it out there. But you know, I'd much prefer to be able to crack one from a pack. Shock, shock. This shock is ridiculous. I love how they've just added in some rando sharks. We got flying sharks. We got. Ooh, Fiend Artisan, the new Tarmogoyf. And, and a normal island, I thought it was a foil island there for a second. I'm disappointed it's not. All right, last pack from the first box. Double rare pack, gotta love that. So, Blitz of the Thunder Drake, Monster Storm, Birthing Goyth, I love it, yeah, yeah. Boon of the Wish, Akahira, the Orphan Guard. And then the foil was a Rogren Triome. Righto. Well, I'll uh, I'll go I'll go back through this and I'll figure out. Uh, who guessed which pack was our biggest, uh, biggest, biggest bomb pack afterwards? But let's just recap, shall we? We opened four box toppers. The four box toppers were 
a Rodan Titan of wing, winged fury, an Aguarius Armored Killer. So these are all Godzilla alt arts of other cards. The second little name box up the top here is the actual name of the card. And the, the top one, which you would normally associate with the actual, actual name of the card, is just like a subtitle for it. And the alt art, so Mothra, the supersonic queen. <laughs> All right. And then now let's just do a recap of what our rare cards were out of the box. This should be in reverse order. So Foil, Rover and Triome, Kahira, Orphan Guard, Fiend, Artisan, Keep Safe as a Foil, Frondland, Felidar, a Vadrock, who is quickly becoming my favorite dude, Helica Glider as a foil, Quartz Wood Crasher, Zagoth Triome, Everquill Phoenix. We're just going to stop there for a second, let you guys drool a little bit over that art. It's mad. The feather that goes with it, that was in the same pack. A Chittering Harvester as a foil, a Colga, the Titan Ape, Eerie Ultimatum, Mythos of Brokos, a foil Tranquil Co. Luke Tree, Bandit, Commander, and Brawl from Day Dot. Um, Boneyard Lurker as, a, as an alt art foil. A Sea Dasher Octopus. A Glowstone Recluse, which I just kept there because of the comic book art. Slither Wisp. Foil Pacifism. Unpredictable Cyclone. When did I miss that? Uh, Keen Sight Mentor as a foil. Garuda, Broken in Legacy. Inspired Ultimatum, Narset of the Ancient Way, Alert Heat Bonder as a foil, Granith Mentor, Song of Creation, Broken and Standard, Destroy Your Whole Deck, Turn 6, Auspicious Arax as a cool alt, uh, Rogren, no, Ruinous Ultimatum, uh, Dreamtail Heron as an awesome alt art, Necropanther as a foil alt art, oh yeah, uh, Almighty Brushwag as a foil, uh, a Wanda's Enclave, a Dirge Bat, a Savire Crystal as a foil, Titan's Nest, Mythos of Nithroi, an Emergent Ultimatum, Mythos of Vadrock, Savire Triome, Extinction Event, this is a pretty good card, I like it. It's a, it's a weird modal wrath. Uh, Garuda Doom of Depths, Doom of Legacy, uh, as a foil, Karuga the Macrosage, a non-super sexy art, Everquill Phoenix, uh, Rael the the Everwise, she's Everwise, Crystalline Giant, Token Horde, uh, Counter Horde, uh, Meme Typhoon, uh, Rewarding Standard, Yorian, Sky Nomad, and the crazy old art nah, set of the Ancient Way. I love this guy. A reminder, these will all be in the folder for um, purchase on Day Dot. Um, hopefully they'll be in the app, uh, the, um, the Delver Lens app, which we use for um, our pricing. And yeah, um, it's not too late to um, order boxes and pre-release kits. Um, there are plenty of pre-release kits yet, so if you wanted to get yourself a pre-release kit and um, take part in our uh, at-home pre-release, um, basically it, we record whoever picks up a pre-release kit over the weekend into the uh, event link um, new software and it's uh, a way of recording basically who is still participating in um, the pre-release this season even though there's not a proper pre-release um, they've said that the metrics don't count towards um, our promos for next season um, because obviously um, there is a disease ravaging the land that is uh, stopping children from going to school and stopping um, 
nice people from going to or getting work. So um, we, uh, yes, we hope that, uh, uh, you know, people will come out and still support us for the pre-release and such. Um, I have another box, but I also need to partake of the facilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transition us back to the stream starting soon screen and go and do my viz and I will be back in five minutes and if you're interested I have another box so put your picks down for what you think is going to be pick the pack basically what do you think is going to be our biggest bong um, I I honestly think from that last box it's either the Narset that came out of pack one or that sexy Everquill Phoenix. I don't necessarily mean the best, the best card from Meta Wise, because you know we don't, we don't follow a Meta here at uh, Tabletop Warfare. At Tabletop Warfare, we make our own Meta because we like fun. We like people to have fun. Uh, so I'm going to go and do that thing that I said I was going to do, and I will be back in. Just a moment. Stick with us.
All right, I am back. I have a second box here to crack back. Uh, don't forget all these uh, all these rares are going into the folder in the store, so you guys will be able to pick up your singles on uh, on Friday. Uh, if you're looking for commons and uncommons as well, I'll try and sort through them all this afternoon and see if I can uh, get some sets of that stuff together for you too. Um, We'll just make sure that, you know, there are, we can get you what you need. If you, if you uh, need, if you want your Ikoria singles, we'll do what we can to get those to you. Uh, but we do have your booster boxes, your bundles, Theme boosters. Theme boosters this time have a monster um, bun, uh, monster pack as well. So if you, so they've got white. They've got the, the five colors. So they've got Wooberg, but they've got a specific monster pack as well. Pack four for Jank. Pack twenty eight for Bomb. All right. Nice. All right. Um, so uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is gonna be our pack uh, thirty six. I'm gonna leave that over there and I'm gonna work in five so that way maybe I can keep track of like doing the counting thing this time because you know I failed at it with the first box. <laughs> I've also in between uh, these two boxes I adjusted the, the, the pack camera so hopefully this should be a better way to do it. As I said it's the first time that I've I've done this, so. Uh, all right. Frill Scale Mentor. Indartha Crystal. Reconnaissance Mission. An Eerie Ultimatum. Maybe I will just skip it on all the uncommons this time and I'll just go straight to the rares and foils. That way we will have ourselves a merry little Christmas and maybe be a little bit quicker on this second booster box and we'll just I think by now most people have seen most of this stuff on uh, arena so goodbye token so pack number two slither wisp slither wisp and just just for, just for toddles auspicious rx because I know he is enjoying, he is smitten with that card. So pack three. So if you're watching me right now, are we at work watching on our phone? At work watching on our work computer? We've got a foil back for more. And a lava brink venturer. Are you at home? Are you are you horribly affected by what's going on at the moment preventing you from working preventing you from sending your kids to school and we've got a, a foil uh, not a foil a, a an old art necropanther as well so i'm going to set that one aside i didn't really take much notice in the first box but maybe i should check to see whether <coughs> we get a an alt art card in each pack so there's a crystalline giant nah we don't that's disappointing <laughs> uh, pack five playing minecraft about to have an online class ah online classes that must be fun hopefully uh <clears throat> Hopefully life can go back to normal soon. Unpredictable cyclone. It's quite unpredictable, isn't it? Quite. Oh, I've lost all my uncommons. What did I do with the uncommons? What evs? Pack six. Pack 
number seven. Kahira, the orphan guard. Kahira. Tanka. How are you, my friend? Have you got your stream set up working nicely now? I know you were testing like mad the other day. Um, Karuga. Karuga. Oof. Cabin Whisperer. Look at that. That's some Batman uh, comic book art right there. Pack 9. Oh, aren't we all hanging out for 10 a.m. tomorrow, mate? I can't wait to open the doors. I can't wait to start handing out these Christmas presents to everybody. Oh, the art. The art is irresistible, man. Nathroy. The apex of death. I am death. The other thing I, I, uh, I'm hanging out for, obviously, is to see all you beautiful people again playing in my store one day. This is one of those punch card token cards. Uh, we got a foil lurking dead eye. Let's take that away. And ooh, baby, an alternate art in Darth Triome. Let me get that a little bit closer to the camera. Look at that. Honestly. Uh, that art has just reminded me as well. Oh, and another one. Another alt art in the pack. Um, has reminded me that we have ordered in a series of wall scrolls so the triome art on a i don't know whether it's canvas or whether it's just a material hanger um but we have ordered in a, a bunch of them um for i don't they're not going to be here in time for release but they will be here eventually this is pack 11 um hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh of all the triomes with that comic board art book comic book art um, we also have the playmats, uh, the Godzilla-style playmats coming in. So if you've looked at um, what Ultra Pro has put out for their playmats and sleeves, we've got those playmats and sleeves coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, pretty excited for that. It's been a while since they've actually put art up for the play mats and sleeves and stuff in a timely manner so we've been able to order them because it's frustrating that you know right up until release and even after release sometimes we've got a foil forest and a ruinous ultimatum um the art for the play mats just isn't there so it's like well i don't even know what's on the play mats how do i know if people it, I, I think i've got a pretty good sus on whether people are going to like the stuff that comes out because you know when it's just boring let, let's let's pick the most boring art that we can from the set which is what they tend to do and put it on a play mat a Dranith magistrate um but this time they've chosen to put alternate art the godzilla artwork onto some play mats and um, they look pretty nice if i do say so myself uh, this is pack 14 so yeah if you if you check them out um i will hopefully put up a facebook or a uh, uh yeah facebook post about them sometime soon what do we got there the orzolith the old capture um capture the the counters before they leave the battlefield this is pack 15 coming We'll have to capture some counters before things leave the battlefield. I, I see some crazy uh, uh, mobile, what's it called? Hangerback Walker shenanigans going on with this thing, surely. The, the old Hangerback Walker dies, we stick all the 1-1 counters onto the Orzolith, 
we get a whole bunch of thopters and then we go, let's stick all these counters on that thopter, thank you. Might not be a thing, but I think it's pretty damn cool. Uh, Survive, try um... Oh man. Pack, pack 15 and we're getting, I think we're getting stiff for some comic book art, this box. Oh, ooh, the boogeyman, Lurus, or Larus, or however you want to say it. Pack 17. More, more punch card. If you haven't seen the punch card yet, here's some punch card. This is, they're going to give you all your tokens on, on punch cards. Ooh, a foil horn bash mentor. Foily foilo. And a death oasis. Death. Ooh. And a majestic oracorn. Because, you know, we already have a majestic unicorn, so let's have a majestic oracorn. This is pack 17, I believe. Well, wind of thought. Well, wind of thought. Running a Lurus Mardu Knights build on Arena and climbing the ranks clear. Nice. Nice. That's, uh, that's exciting, man. Um, I know we saw Isolation Chamber, which was uh, Dan Crossman hit... Uh, Mythic last set um, before <clears throat> the season rotated. It would be great to see a couple of different people from our local community um, get up there this this time. Um, you know, it it's a uh, amazing like just what you can do when you uh, have when you when you're optioned into you know actually going hard on this on the, the grinding I guess you could say it like a lot of people weren't even interested in uh, arena before the old uh, disease started rolling through which you know Chevelle or Cheville Cheville Hello Dracus Dracus Let's make up new names for everything. Let's make names that you have to guess how they are pronounced. <laughs> um, so, oh, goodness gracious. This must be 21. 21 plus 16, yeah. Yeah, I think this is pack 21. Ooh. That's another extinction event. Don't forget all these are going into the stool folder. So if you are looking for some singles, we're going to have some singles for you. Not those kinds of singles. We are in your local area, but we don't, we, we don't advertise through those sorts of emails. Uh, our third Narset. We like a Narset. I have seen, I've seen some uh, digital mod of mods of this. Uh, some digital mods of this Narset to where she's kicking a ball. She's playing a bit of kicking it, playing a bit of football. You know, uh, European football field soccer. Oh boy, this is an interesting pack. Not only do we have a foil Lutri Bandin Commander, but we also have one pretty damn amazing looking, like I would call this Naruto Shudovan or a bit of Attack on Titan style art here. The old Gem Razor. Whew! 
Like, we thought stained glass window bloody dudes were... Oh my gosh. The triple threat. We've also got a migratory something something. Uh, yeah, we thought the stained glass window planeswalkers and the um, the Japanese anime style art planeswalkers were some sick art, but whew, this 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 set is just uh, all sorts of awesomeness. I gotta say. Uh, oh sweet, this is gonna be my favourite token out of the entire set, of course, because you know why wouldn't I? Uh, a song of creation. Yeah. Like the whole, the fact that we got two separate, like, two separate forms of alternate art cards in this set is just phenomenal. Uh, and by that I'm referring to the fact that we've got the comic book style art for the, um, the impact promos and then we have the Godzilla cards for the uh, box topper promos um, it's just yeah it, it's awesome they're, they're taking it to a whole nother level honestly uh, we have 16 packs left which means that this is no sorry we've got 11 packs left which means that this is number 25 Uh, Bonders Enclave. Oh, no alternate art in this pack at all. So disappointed with you. Oof. The old double rare pack. The old double rare pack of the Savai Triome in foil. And Yorion, ruler of standard, uh, we'll raise you to a porker parrot as well, because porker parrot. Like, what a concept. Like, how do you even fly? Because, like, I don't know, like, I would have thought you either had spines or you had wings. In this case, you've got spines and wings, like, do they come out of the same, like, I don't know, what do you call where a feather comes out of? Is it a pore? Is it a pore? What, 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 what do you call that, like, mechanical part of the body where a feather grows from? Is it a cuticle? Because isn't a feather so basically just like the same thing as a nail? The nail comes out of a... I think a nail comes out of a cuticle. Man, I'm just rambling now. Um, this is... Uh, what do we got? We got eight packs left. So we're up to 24. No, we're up to 28. I can count. Shh. Shh. Prickly mum set for a foil. And another seed to sure occupush. We like a bit of C dash and C dash. That's that's how you say. God, what was that? That was a Commodore. A Commodore. Good old Commodore. Some of you people are too young to know what a Commodore is. And their old C dash logo. That's a cloud piercer. Seven packs left. Seven. Pretty cool looking Spidey Boy. Yep. Also, they grow from a papilla. A papilla. Today I learned that a feather grows from a papilla. Focus, can you can you look up? Just just do the old you googlies that you just. Well, that's not. Yeah. Okay. That's that's not where that word comes from. That word came from eulogy, not. Yeah. Anyway, can you do the old Googles and find out whether a nail nail also grows from a papilla? That would be another today I learned. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. 
So if that other one, so so if that phoenix that we were talking about earlier, you know, looked like the the dark phoenix style comic books, this card looks like oh dear, this is a Studio Ghibli card. Um, I can't remember what the name of the anime was, but um. Princess Mononoke, that's what it was. This reminds me of some art, some some of the terrifying, um, <sighs> corrupted spirit artwork from Princess Mononoke. Oof. Let's just, just, let's just keep those feels going with, with this other one as well. Oof. That's some, some sick stuff. Ah, Princess Mononoke. I suppose, like, technically, both, both of those movies were about corrupted spirits, weren't they? I am a Studio Ghibli fan from a long way back. The first, the first anime that I ever saw was Studio Ghibli. It was uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Another Garuda! Broken in Legacy! On Moto. Because... Because... Leyline of the Void does not affect it. But on Modo it did. On Modo during a pretty clutch legacy tournament it did. We have five packs left. Oh, it's actually a nail root under the cuticle. Nails are trees. Nails are trees? What? What? Rail. Or re rail? Rail? I'm just going to call it rail. 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 Volcabeat. It's a fox bird. It's a fox bird. It's ridiculous. This set is ridiculous. This set is... I swear, they were sitting in... We have three packs left. They were just... Actually, four. This is the fourth last pack. They were just sitting in a room somewhere, and they said, Hey, how about we just, like, you know... Put all of these... Creature types. Write them down on pieces of paper and chuck them in a hat. We'll roll some dice. And those dice will say how many names we pull out of the hat. And then they were just like, oh, oh, should we keep this or should we put it back? A parcel beast. Oof, look at this. Look at this. Um, they were just like, ah, oh, let's just run with it. So we had a nightmare squirrel. We had a, a fox bird. We had a shark bird. What in the world? What is this world coming to? That's, a, that's, a, that's why I had to get a new plane to this one. Yeah. Alrighty. You know what would be cool, speaking of Studio Ghibli? Is if they were to... Just, just, you know, put out a trading card game for Studio Ghibli stuff. That would be pretty cool. That's an Indartha Triome. Indartha. You know, because it's... It, 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 yeah, it's not Abzan anymore, it's Indartha. Two packs left. If you're out there in uh, Twitchy land watching this and you haven't followed yet, we'd love it if you throw us a follow. Uh, I do a painting stream on Monday nights. Tuesday nights I do some Realm Royale first person shooter with my young kin my children i would play that off oh, i'll play the crap out of that game like i don't like the final fantasy artwork that they that they put on their cards but i swear if you if you made it a game about the studio ghibli universe with all that artwork oh i would be there in an instant oh yes Oh no! I went and booted the camera. He's a goner. There we go. Yeah, if, if if they did that, that that would be phenomenal. 
You hear that, wizards? Do that. Just a whole set that's just all Studio Ghibli artwork, please. Please and thank you. Last pack. Is it going to be a bomb or is a boom or a bust? Is this pack a boom or a bust? Boom or bust? Yeah, yeah, just boot that. Boot that camera out of the way. Boom or bust? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Boom or bust? Tell me, is this pack a boom or a bust? Firstly, foil planes. <laughs> uh, secondly, uh, let's just play a bit of Lutri Banding Commander. I think there's a boom. I, I, I like Lutri. Lutri's crazy good. Like, I remember the days, back in my day, back in my day, when, you know, you had fork, and fork was no good, and then they made fork cheaper, and then they changed the colour for fork, and then they changed it back, and now they just share it between blue and red, and I feel like it's, you have a, he has a pretty cool mullet, he has a mullet? I guess. I guess we could call that a mullet. Let's, let's, let's get a bit closer in there to see old Lutri's Malay. He doesn't want to autofocus on that, but that's okay. Old Lutri with the electric mullet. That, that's, a, that's the name of my, my 80s rock band. The electric mullet. Um... So yes, this has been a box opening stream. Uh, let us review what came out of this box. More of a main? Nah. Nah, it's a mullet. You're overruled. Uh, so we the last pack had Lutri and we'll work our way backwards. We got a Mythos of Neroi and an Endartha Triome. A Mythos of Brokos, uh, a Rail, the Everwise. Uh, Garuda, Doom of Legacy, a super sweet Nathroi, Apex of Death, a C Dasher Octopus, C Dasher, 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 Badger, no, Mushroom, um, Mythos of a Luna, uh, just, just what, what, what can you say about that guy? Jeez. Um, a foil Survive Triome, uh, Yorion. Uh, owner of Standard, um, Bonders Enclave, um, Mythos of Vadrock, Song of Creation, Crazy Crazy Gem Razor, oh my goodness, that art, <sighs> uh, Foil Lutri, uh, and our set of the Ancient Way, uh, Extinction Event, Chevelle, Bane of Monsters, uh, Inspired Ultimatum, uh, Whirlwind of Thought, which is probably, I don't know, I want that to do good things, but I don't know, uh, Death's Oasis, uh, LaRousse, the, uh, the Dream Den, <clears throat> who is a little bit, oh, he is the Dream Den, um, Savai Triumph. The Orzalith, Granith Magistrate, Ruinous Ultimatum, uh, Kolga the Titan Ape, this crazy, crazy, crazy Indartha Triome, amazing art, uh, a normal Nathroi, Apex of Death, a Karuga the Necrosage, uh, a Kahira Orphan Guard. A Frondland Felidar, that beautiful foil uh, Luminous Brood Moth, uh, an unpredictable cyclone, unpredictable cyclone is unpredictable, Crystalline Giant, a Lava Brink Venturer, Slither Wisp, and last but not least, an eerie ultimatum.
is rather eerie. Uh, so thank you for tuning into this uh, box break stream. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's jumped in and had a chat. I, I really love being able to interact with you guys even though we can't be together. Um, like you can always stop into the store and say hello, uh, pick up yourself. Don't forget that we're still doing home deliveries as well for orders over $50. Um, that sort of slowed down in the last couple of weeks um, to a couple of weeks, but now like you can still make your orders. Uh, we haven't decided yet when we're going to end that. So um, I would I would say if you want to order something, um, all of our Games Workshop stuff should be back in stock by next week. Um, they have started taking orders and uh, they've been clearing all the back orders from when they originally closed up back in February. Um, I think it's been six to eight weeks now without um, Games Workshop delivery. So um, jump on that if, you, if you're if you looking for something specific. Uh, you don't have to wait for it to come back in stock to order it. Um, you can just chuck us a, a message through the Facebook page or on the sales um thread on the discord i'm actually right now because it was requested earlier i'm going to throw up throw up that's right i'm throwing up no i'm going to share the invite to the come on uh, do not expire no limit generate copy all right so <clears throat> Facebook page, um, I am going to share on the Facebook page the link to the Discord um, in case you haven't already gotten onto the Discord. Um, there are people on there organising um, Yu-Gi-Oh! events online on Monday and Thursday nights. There are, um, there's me and some others that are doing a, doing uh, FNM at home using direct challenge through MTG Arena um, until we have the opportunity to get back at tables. Um, as I said at the beginning of the stream, um, we would consider running events as uh, classified as amusements. And from what we understand, amusements are still uh, prohibited. Uh, hence, we have not started up our events yet and don't plan to until probably June because that's when most of the um, uh, most of your organised play firms, you know, your uh, Konami Play Network, your Wizards Play Network, your po uh, Pokemon um, Trading Card Game Network and the Fantasy Flight Games Network are going to go back to running events. So... Um, or allowing us to run official events. So wait until then. Um, or, or we are waiting until then. So just to make sure that everybody's safe. Um, we feel like that's a huge responsibility on us to make sure that everybody is safe when they enter our building um, and that everybody is taking care of themselves while they're around. So um, we would rather everybody's healthy and happy uh, rather than just happy if, if you can be happy if you're sick so um, uh, here is the link to our discord server jump in for online events and chat Alright, so that has just gone to the Facebook page. Ooh, I'm, I'm looking on our Facebook page and we've just got some uh, new Infinity um, Miniatures game uh, expansions just coming out. Some Code 1 operations. I believe this is a skirmish version of Infinity. That's pretty cool. Um, so yes, um, chuck us a follow if you haven't already. Um, Monday nights painting, uh, painting miniatures. At the moment I'm painting some Star Wars Legion miniatures. 
they're almost done. Uh, I have Darth Vader left too, and I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to probably pick up an E-Web and get that painted up as well. Um, if you want to look back through my previous uh, videos, uh, the last couple of um, videos I was doing a uh, fantastic Wedgetail Eagle. I, I think the little dude came out sick. Uh, I'm going to put him on display in the shop shortly. Um, I am by no means a professional painter, but I just have fun and we just chat for the night and it's just something to uh, do on a Monday night. Uh, Tuesday night I'm playing Realm Royale with my kiddos. Uh, I will stream intermittently with um, Aragorn and Saint and some other people on Realm Royale as well. Um, I've been working Fridays, so I tend to not get out of the shop until about 8, even though we close at 7, so you don't really see much of me streaming FNM at the moment, um, but I will try and put that together and maybe do a Thursday night drafts or Thursday night streams for that as well. I just want to... I, want, I just want to plump myself up to like three nights a week of streaming. So yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, if you are happy to watch my ugly mug in the evening and have a chat, then you please come along, follow, and uh, yeah. Hopefully we continue to be part of the community and hopefully this has a, 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 a is a step towards keeping that community together. Have a great afternoon, guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Ciao.